today we would like to say about asymmetric information and financial crisis. Let me introduce myself. I'm Nisana Tongsi. I'm Paida Ashu. First, we would like to say about how asymmetric information affect financial institution during the financial crisis and how the supply crisis in the United States affects the European zone. So we would like to be saying about some indicators that show how the financial crisis affects about economy, that is debt, interest rate, stock market, and how pricing so let's start at the subprime crisis in the United States. The subprime crisis in the United States start from the asset price boom and burst. That means that the asset price go up to the highest point that no one can buy it and later go up down into the minimum point that maybe lead to the network become negative. So let's start at the first country, Greece. The country have the program with a run budget deficit since the Olympic game because they have to borrow funds from abroad to build a new building, airport, and roads for support the Olympic game. Because of that, that leads to increase in debt, in public debt and later harm leading to fiscal imbalance and currency accounts. At the same time as Iceland, the country has the fiscal deficit since 2008 because they had to borrow funds to stimulate the economy after the global financial crisis. And later on, they have a problem with the asset boom and burst. So, the network becomes a negative in the country and I mean that they have the burden in more debt. So because of that, the, the investor lack of the confidence in government bond. And so they withdraw their deposit and in that time loss of half deposit in the Bank of Ireland. And third country, Bodigo. Bodigo has a deficit have a high deficit debt and instability political because uh, the ex-prime minister tried to pass the SUM Act that they try to reduce in expenditure and collecting more tax so leading to political conflict so because of this situation investor lack of the confidence because they are the lack of confidence that government can pay, can pay the debt and inefficiency in politicians they cannot manage all of them so investors lack of government assets and because of this government have to increase interest rate to attract people more and more and the latter country in Italy the Italy have the some program about the economy, depriving from the post one too. And later they have the credit boom too. Then lend more credit for people to buy more assets. Uh, especially maybe price of housing assets. And another problem is the government is in efficient to manage about the debt and repay the debt. So they cannot cannot manage it well and they lack of it of ability to collect tax and so the problem that higher interest rate for the long term. And the last country is Spain. The country has the program start from the private debt from asset bubble to it's like other country and leading to the service debt or a country
country cannot repay the debt because of the bullet of the banking system. So later time, because of too much problem leading to the economic recession and the rate of unemployment become higher. Let's start the first indicator that is government debt. So when we look at the graph, the graph consists of the five countries or peak group. The blue line is the Greece, orange line is the island, yellow is the Italy, and green line is Portugal, and the pink line is Spain. When we look at graph, we will see that every country has a higher debt since 2008. And we can see, and the country which has the highest point of the debt is Greece, or blue line. So, but when we look at another country, that seems especially for other country, that is Ireland. We will see that Ireland don't have the problem of government debt. And you can see since 2000, they don't have the problem like that. But since the 2008, they are increasing steadily. So, we conclude that the financial crisis most of them is from the government debt. Okay, next indicator is the 10 year government bonds. As you can see in the graph, the interest rate of 10 year government bonds start increasing in the 2008 because they have, they try to attract people to invest in their bonds. And the country which has the highest point of interest rate is Greece. As you can see, around 24 or 23%. And the last indicator that is stock market and how price index. When we see from the graph, the price of two indicators start increasing since 2003, and they have the highest point at 2007. After that, because of asset growth, so the price of two indicator start to decrease rapidly until 2012. That is the lowest, the lowest point of the two price. Okay, what we mentioned before. The cause of financial crisis in most countries is rely on similar problem that is cause that may have mentioned before. Most of them rely on a similar problem that is fiscal deficit, mismanagement of funds, and, and financial liberalization as well as the asset boom and burst. So then lead to the second stage, that is the banking crisis from the hard debt because of the negative of members, lead to the modern to repay the debt. And finally, every country face a full financial crisis that may be declining in economics. And next, we will discuss that how estimated information affects financial institutions during the financial crisis. Next, we will discuss about how estimated information affects financial institutions during the financial crisis. In the topic of estimated information, there are two parts, including administration and moral hazard. In administration, start from the big government, pay sooner for their citizen pension and pay too well. Moreover, asset price is the fundamental economic value in Ireland and Spain. And Spanish financial institutions are known for over repeat of housing projects and moreover. And the Portugal project conflict and inefficiency lead to the invader less of the confidence in government bonds. And for the interbank loan, there was inability of the pleasure to distinguish between bad on of good borrower, and then not to finance asset interest 
Thank you. 